What is up guys, so the CW released a very very short 10 second teaser about The Flash Season 6. This teaser is titled Billions, and it is very much focused around Crisis on Infinite Earths. Look, I'm a lot more than I expected the season to be, so with that in mind, let's watch the trailer so that I could break it down, talk about all the things that I noticed, all the things to talk about, and what it means for the season. So with that in mind, let's just watch the trailer. I saw billions of possible futures. Billions of deaths. We can't stop what's coming. The Flash, October 8th, stream free next day only on the CW app. Okay, so first of all, like I said, this trailer is very much focused around Crisis on Infinite Earths, like a lot more than I expected the season 2 be focused on now. I do not think the season will be as focused around the Crisis as Arrow Season 8 will be, as Arrow Season 8's main storyline will be about the Crisis, but uh, the Flash Season 6 main storyline will be about Bloodwork, the main villain of those episodes. But it seems like based on this trailer that this uh, season will be a lot more focused around the crossover than I expected, which makes me just so much more excited for the season. Season. This trailer looks so good. It makes the season look so good, and I think Crisis on Infinite Earths will just single-handedly make this year the best year of the Arrowverse. Based off what we're seeing about the, uh, the upcoming seasons of the Arrowverse, the Crisis will have just such a huge impact on uh, the quality as well as how much the whole season of each show is going to be as interesting as it is. So the trailer begins where we see Jay Garrick's helmet. This helmet uh, used to belong to Zoom, it used to belong to Zoom's father, and now it currently belongs to Jay Garrick, and he still has it on Earth 3, although he has semi-retired from being a superhero, there's no reason why he wouldn't keep it, and there's no reason why Team Flash would have it, so I don't know why they have it, it could be one of a couple things, maybe the Monitor gave it to them, because it uh, grants them the ability to see the future maybe of Earth 3, or they, uh, Jay Garrick could be in trouble or something, so Team Flash Flash ends up getting the helmet, maybe it like falls through a breach like it did in the end of season one, or maybe uh, some some reason or another, uh, Jay Garrick, uh, his helmet is given to Team Flash. Another possibility is that Jay Garrick comes to Earth 1 in one of the first episodes of the season and gives them the helmet, and they use the helmet for the seeing of the future. The problem with that is that Jay Garrick has not been confirmed to appear in one of the first episodes of the season. He has been confirmed to appear in the crossover, but not one of these episodes, which this scene is probably from either episode 1 or 2, most likely 1, maybe 2 as well, but this, uh, I don't really see Jay Garrick appearing in these episodes, so for some reason or another, Team Flash ends up getting a Jay Garrick's helmet somehow, some way, maybe through the monitor, and they use it to see the future, but I do not think it's that they're seeing the future of Earth 1, I think they might be seeing the, the future of a different universe. So they hook Barry Allen up to the machine and he says that he sees billions of possible futures and while crying in a bed he says I couldn't stop any of them where he sees billions of, of, of actual deaths in every single one of those futures. Now uh, there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, I think the reason they're uh, hooking Barry up to the machine specifically, which I think the machine probably given to them by the monitor, I can't really see any other way for them to see the future without vibing, but Cisco doesn't have his powers anymore and he can't vibe the future like he did a lot in the past seasons, even one time where he vibed the destruction of Earth 2, which could maybe be a teaser for this, like that never actually happened, so maybe that was a teaser for Crisis and Earth. I don't know, but I think the reason they're hooking Barry specifically up to the machine is because he is a speedster, and because of that, he has the ability to process billions of possible futures all at the same time, which I already gotta say that is so similar to Avengers Infinity War, and that is a comparison that's already been made in the comment section of this video of this teaser. Teaser, but uh, the fact that he sees billions of possible futures and not a single one of them or he was able to stop them That's very similar not exact, but very similar It's actually worse in terms of their uh, situation than what we saw in Avengers Infinity War where Doctor Strange saw 14 million six hundred thousand and five possible futures and only one of them were the Avengers successful that future that they were successful Ended up being Avengers Endgame as Doctor Strange kind of put in motion the ability for that to happen But now we see in the Arrowverse, the same thing happening. The Crisis on Earth is very much the end game of the Arrowverse, and it seems like the storylines leading up to it are kind of the Infinity War, as we see right here. Barry sees billions of possible futures, and not a single one of them was he able to destroy to stop the destruction of the multiverse, maybe, or the universe. I think the fact that he saw so many possible futures, and not one of them was the what whatever he's looking at saved. I think that means he's not looking at the multiverse because we know. 
the multiverse will be saved in the end. There's no possible way that it won't because we know, first of all, that's how the uh, storyline ends in the comic, and also the shows are continuing after the crossover, so there's no way the actual multiverse will end, but I do not think he's looking at the multiverse. If he was, he would probably say trillions, if not infinite amount of deaths, but he's saying billions, so I think he's only looking at one universe where there would be billions of people, and also probably a couple billion other alien-like uh, creatures, but in terms of human beings, 7.6 billion around, so he's probably looking around one universe, and considering the fact that he's wearing Jay Garrick's helmet, I think he's either looking at Earth 2 or Earth 3. So Earth 2, I think, has a very small possibility of being destroyed in the crisis as it was, for one, one of the five universes that survived to the new Earth in the original comic book, which I don't think really means much because we already know Earth 1 and Earth 38. Earth 38 not being a universe that survived in the original crossover, not being a, uh, a universe that was even mentioned in the original crisis or the original uh, continuity of the DC universe, uh, that, does, that definitely is not exactly like the comic, but I think be, uh, on top of that, Earth 2 in the Arrowverse itself is one of the five more fleshed out universes in the Arrowverse. I mean, it's got characters like Harry Wells, Jesse Quick, Black Canary from Earth 2, which has been a character on Arrow for a while, as well as Gorilla City and Solovar, as well as King Shark, who's currently on Earth, to, on Earth 1, but he is from Earth 2, so I think Earth 2 being one of the more fleshed out universes in the Arrowverse, and being one of the universes that originally survived, I don't think it will uh, die in the crossover, and I do think it will probably be uh, brought into the new Earth, if that is even what happens. So I don't think uh, Barry's look at Earth 2, even though the helmet is originally from Earth 2, it doesn't really signify Earth 2, it definitely signifies Earth 3, which is where Jay Garrick is from, and I think what Barry's looking at is not only the, the destruction of Earth 3 in the future, but a destruction that he will not be able to stop, and in the end, after the crisis, I don't think it will be prevented, and I think Earth 3 will be fully destroyed. So if they're going exactly like the comic and it's five universes that end up combining, then Earth 3 being a, one of the universes really wouldn't add very much. It's really just Jay Garrick and that is it, which don't get me wrong, he's a good character, but that's not enough to be one of the five main universes. And I think considering Earth 3, while being very different from the original comic, where the original Earth 3 and Earth 3 you typically uh, is the universe where the crime syndicate characters like Owlman, Ultraman, Power Ring, and Johnny Quick are from, and Earth 3 was actually, I'm pretty sure, the first first universe to ever be destroyed in Crisis and Earth, or at least the first universe we saw being destroyed. It was definitely one of the final universes to be destroyed, but it was the first one we saw in the actual comic book. So all of those things points me to think that Earth 3 will be destroyed in the crossover, and I think that's what Barry is seeing right here. So Barry's seeing billions of futures, he's seeing every single one, Earth 3 being destroyed, and he can't stop it as billions and billions of people die in the destruction of their multiverse. One character who mul who will most likely survive considering their interdimensional uh, travel abilities is Jay Garrick and I do think he will survive because I mean he, he's confirmed for the crossover and I don't think they're going to kill off a character like that even with the destruction of his, of his universe but I think he will go to Earth 1 survive the destruction of his universe and he will help out in the crossover what, but what Barry is seeing here is I think 100% fixed and Earth 3 will be destroyed. So one shot in this trailer shows the uh, particle accelerator explosion for some reason. Maybe there's going to be a new one this season. Maybe they're just showing it because of the fact that it's the Flash and the particle accelerator explosion has the main thing driving the entire show or has been the main thing driving basically everything that's happened in the show as well as other particle accelerator explosions. But I don't really know why specifically this one is being showed other than maybe there's a new one and maybe this is powering the machine that lets Barry see the future on Probably, I think, or three. So this is a shot of Killer Frost freezing a keyboard for some reason, maybe out of frustration because of what they're seeing in the future, or maybe some out, out of uh, some other frustration or another. Honestly, I don't really know what else to say there. I don't really know what's going on here, but we do see Nora Allen returning, and not Nora West Allen, but Nora Allen, the mother of Barry Allen, which could really only mean one thing. Ever since she died uh, before the uh, first season began, the only time she's ever returned is one the night that she died, which I mean that's we've seen that a lot. She's died a lot, but also the other reason 
that she would ever come back is being a manifestation of the speed force and I think that's probably what's going on here as we see Nora Allen returning in this episode I think this is episode 6 as she is confirmed to appear in episode 6 or she was at the filming of episode 6 and while episode 6 is definitely it, I wouldn't expect it to be in the trailer for this t in a teaser for the beginning of the season the 10 second teaser but it, she hasn't been confirmed to appear in any other episode so I think the speed force will be making an appearance and they will be using Nora Allen as they typically do as the manifestation to I guess get through to Barry or to talk to him. So, four seconds into the trailer, which by the way, four seconds in, it's really the last thing to talk about. They really crammed a lot into the first four seconds, while the while epi well, seconds five to set to ten are mostly a logo of the Flash, but also shots here or there of like Joe and, and Barry running. Not really anything to talk about, but we do see a shot of Barry in his new costume for the first time ever on screen. We obviously saw a picture of him. We saw him on a poster where we saw his cowl where he was facing the camera, but this is the first time we ever see it on screen, and I gotta say, it already looks really really good I mean with the chin strap it completes it so much it's crazy but also I really really like like I really like how the earpieces stick out I think the color of the red and uh, how it be how it's darker than the season 5 costume which is way too bright and it's kind of closer to the color of the season 4 costume I really like it I don't know I don't know if it's the lighting or anything but I think that it probably isn't I think this looks really cool not to mention that this is the design of the lightning bolts overall I think this is a very good costume that might not be as good as the season 4 costume but it's definitely good in its own right and definitely could end up being a great costume and I will never get tired of bashing on the season 5 costume so those costumes sucked and this one is a lot better. So somehow, some way, there were over 10 minutes, kind of like 12 minutes worth of things to talk about in just 4 seconds of this trailer, while a seconds, like I said, 5 to 10, not really much to talk about, but that's crazy how much they crammed into those 4 seconds and how much there really is to break down. But let me know what you think about everything. What do you think is going on here? Do you think Barry's seeing the destruction of the entire multiverse and that's every possible future, or do you think he's seeing the only destruction of one Earth, and logically that Earth would probably be Earth 3, and what do you think about this shot of the new costume which I think looks great let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video make sure to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching